Grover Cleveland, March 18, 1837 to June 24, 1908, was the 22nd and 24th President of the United States, serving two non-consecutive terms in the White House from 1885 to 1889 and 1893 to 1897. He was born in Caldwell, New Jersey, and raised in upstate New York. Cleveland was a self-made man who worked hard to achieve success. He attended college at the National Normal University in Ohio, but dropped out to become a teacher. After teaching for a few years, he decided to study law and was eventually admitted to the bar. He quickly established himself as a successful lawyer and began to get involved in politics. In 1871, Cleveland was elected as the sheriff of Erie County, New York, where he gained a reputation for his honesty and integrity. He later became the governor of New York, where he continued to gain popularity for his progressive policies and his commitment to reform. In 1884, Cleveland was elected as the President of the United States, becoming the first Democrat to hold the office in over 20 years. As president, Cleveland was known for his commitment to honesty and integrity, as well as his dedication to reducing the power of the federal government. He also worked to promote economic growth and stability, and his administration was marked by his commitment to preserving the gold standard and reducing the national debt. Cleveland was also known for his progressive policies on social issues, including his opposition to the annexation of Hawaii and his support for workers' rights. He was a strong advocate for civil rights and worked to promote equality for all Americans. During his first term in office, Cleveland faced several challenges, including an economic recession, the Pullman strike, and tensions with Great Britain over the border dispute between Venezuela and British Guiana. Despite these challenges, Cleveland remained committed to his principles and worked tirelessly to promote peace and stability. After losing his re-election bid in 1888, Cleveland retired to New York City, where he lived with his family and continued to be active in politics. In 1892, he was elected to his second term as president, becoming the first and only president to serve non-consecutive terms in the White House. During his second term, Cleveland continued to promote progressive policies, including his opposition to the annexation of Hawaii and his support for workers' rights. He was also known for his commitment to preserving the gold standard and reducing the national debt, and his administration was marked by his dedication to preserving the principles of the American Constitution. After leaving office in 1897, Cleveland retired to his home in Princeton, New Jersey, where he lived until his death in 1908. He remains one of the most respected and beloved presidents in American history, remembered for his honesty, integrity, and dedication to the country. In conclusion, Grover Cleveland was a man of great character and integrity, who dedicated his life to serving his country. Despite the challenges he faced during his presidency, he remained committed to his principles and worked tirelessly to promote peace and stability. He remains an important figure in American history, remembered for his honesty, integrity, and dedication to the country.